Don't get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. There are two girls who have come out about Sage the Gemini. This young lady came out and she is accusing Sage of basically S.A. in the R word. And I hate the fact that we got to talk like we're for the R word, S.A., that we just can't say what it is. So I'm going to play this video. It's concerning Sage the Gemini. She also calls out Chris Brown and a lot of these big dick deviants um, in Hollywood. And after she came out, a black girl who's a sex worker, she called herself a sex worker. Um, she also came out to verify that Sage had done stuff to her as well. But I've been hearing little stories about Sage for a while. I never thought that I would make this video, but it's time. They finally got Diddy. They finally got him. And But the thing is, there's so many more men out there, just like Diddy, who are abusers who use their fame to lure women in and abuse them. And I wanted to come on here to say that it is time to out every single abuser in the industry, every single one. They, really, they all need to be held accountable. And the thing is, I would be a hypocrite if I came on here and I was telling other women that they need to speak up if I'm unwilling to speak up. I was raped at Chris Brown's house by his friend, Sage the Gemini. Yes, I know. I should have never been at Chris Brown's house in the first place. This happened when I was 18 years old. I'm 26 now, um, as of today. And I should have never been there. But Sage the Gemini raped me at his house. Chris Brown, I never thought that I would make this video, but it's time. Raped my friend when she was underage. She was under the influence and she was 16 years old. These are were on two different occasions. But the thing is, all these men, all these abusers, they hang out together. Chris Brown and Sage the Gemini are rapists. Why have I been afraid to come out all this time? You wanna know? It's because right after Sage raped me, he had me sign a paper saying that everything that happened was consensual. And he was my Uber drive. Uber, he, he got me the Uber to Chris Brown's house and he, I didn't have any money and I needed him to, to get me the ride back. And like, I, I didn't know if he was gonna. Let me read this part. What she's saying on screen, she's saying, I didn't know he, how he would react to me being upset um, about what he did. I was afraid he wouldn't get me a ride home. He was gonna so, he was gonna so jarring how he had someone bring out the paper right after what happened. And I didn't know what was gonna happen if I, in that moment, I was in shock. I couldn't believe that he raped my friend when she was underage. She was under the influence and she was 16 years old. These are were on two different occasions. But the thing is, all these men, all these abusers, they, like, I, I don't really know how to talk about this. Um, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that Chris Brown and Sage the Gemini are rapists. Um, and I think that we all, all of us, like, I, I don't really know how to talk about this. Okay, so then after that, Sage comes on and he says... I ain't turning shit off. LOL, only people she's not lying to is the police because they don't give out careers. Hashtag find a new hustle. And then he posted this picture of himself and he says the internet could sell you a foot and if they said you could walk faster. So that is Sage. Now, I remember hearing stuff about him a few years ago when it came to Jordan Sparks. Um, I forgot what the drama was, if y'all could remind me. It was something 
I don't know if, if like he treated her bad or cheated on her or something. Cause I remember Jordan Sparks was dating him for a while. Um, I don't, I'm not going to say that I don't believe this girl. I feel like I've heard a lot of crazy stuff about Sage, things about Chris Brown. Uh, Chris Brown was accused of iron another young girl a few years ago, but that ended up being a lie. Um, a lot of these young girls end up in this situation because again, like I always tell you guys, sex or SA, I should say in rape, it's not about sex. It's about power because they can get sex anywhere. You're Sage, you're Chris, you're Trey, Trey Songs. You have women who are willing to throw it at you. Okay. But it's not that that's too easy. It's the ones who are naive. They're really coming as like fans. And then they end up in a situation where once that door locks behind you, you know, it's it's a blessing if you can get out of that situation alive. The fact that from what she's saying that he already had an NDA ready for her to sign is very scary and very telling. Now, after her story went viral, this black girl, she came out and I don't have her video. Her video is pretty long. But she came out, y'all can look it up, and she basically said something very similar that Sage the Gemini, you know, art her as well. And I feel like this is something that is very rampant in the industry. And this is learned behavior. Again, like we talked about last week, you had Clive Davis, Andre Harrell, you know what I'm saying, turning out people like Diddy. And then in turn, you had Diddy taking on these young boys. Remember, Usher's mom allowed her 13-year-old child to go live with Diddy. That is insane. You have parents who are willing to pimp out their children for fame, money, to better their situation instead of them being parents. And Diddy's not the only one. Can we talk about Chris Stokes really quick? Marcus Houston's family, his mother, father, because he was considered the breadwinner, they basically allowed Chris Stokes to take guardianship of Marcus Houston. Chris Stokes is Raz B and um, what's the brother? Ricky Romance. That is their blood cousin. Their parents allowed them to just take full custody. Take these young boys under their wing, under your wing, make them stars, send us a bag as well. We don't care. Chris Stokes was doing the same thing that Diddy did, that Andre Harrell, Clive Davis allegedly, grooming these young boys. They had the, you know, when you think about it, the time between the ages of 11 to 15, those are very critical times when you're first going through puberty. And you don't know as a child what you don't know. What you know is what you're taught. And when your parents don't care and they just drop you off, male or female, you just want to be loved. And if this is what you think love is, you're going to follow suit. You're going to fall in line. And so the problem is you have all of these grown men who themselves were groomed in this demonic industry turning around and doing it to the next generation. So you have Marcus Houston as a child being groomed, assaulted by Chris Stokes, doing the same thing to Raz and B2K, Quadir, the one that ended up passing away a few years ago. And so then what happens is that then they in turn do it to the next generation. Because now Usher's being accused of pimping out Justin Bieber. Because isn't it funny that when they asked Usher, when, when Howard Stern said, would you allow your boys to go to Diddy flavored, to the Diddy flavored camp or whatever it was called? Without hesitation, Usher said no. But yet and still, you had no problem taking Justin, taking Justin Bieber into the lion's den. It's sad. And then you have Justin Bieber crying about Billie Eilish and wanting to protect her because he knows what the industry did to him. And I remember that time when he was running around 
acting a fool with little twists, getting high, getting into trouble. And maybe at that point, that was a cry for help. Remember when Raz B was out here wilding out? People coined him as crazy. He came out and said his own blood cousin, Chris Stokes, aired him. And people gaslit him. Remember Ray J? They were all on tape. Oh, let them know I had nothing to do with it. And he said, yeah, Ray J, you didn't do anything to me. Okay, and let them know I, I wasn't in none of this little freaky stuff. They gaslit him. They were all touched. From Little Fizz to Jay Boog, Omarion. And Chris Stokes will have his day. But I feel like all of this is all learned behavior. And unfortunately, sometimes people who are abused in turn inflict abuse onto others. Because remember, right now, Usher is trending. People are dragging Usher um, because this happened recently. Let me see if I can find it. He's over here trying to gaslight people. So this happened this weekend. Usher's entire tweet history has seemingly been deleted from his ex account. Because, you know, people have been digging. They're digging. They're trying to find stuff. Because a lot of people, because now the white mainstream media is finally talking about what we've been talking about for years. Those disturbing videos of Justin Bieber next to Diddy looking extremely uncomfortable. And so now people are saying, Usher, it was your job to protect him. You know what you went through, but yet you took 13-year-old Justin Bieber into the lion's den. So mysteriously, all his stuff got deleted. So now Usher's responding. Usher says, account got hacked, and damn, y'all ran with it. See y'all tonight at the Inuit Dome. Okay, sir. The same way Shannon Sharp accidentally went on live and said, that's right, my Michelle. Yeah, baby, that feels good, my Michelle, yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't believe you, we need more people. You ain't been hacked ever on social media, but now all of a sudden that, you know, these Diddy allegations are out there, oh, it was hacked, y'all are running with it. Ain't nobody hack you, you deleted your whole history because you don't know what you might have said years ago, what pictures might be up, they're dragging LeBron James for saying, ain't no party like a Diddy party. They got LeBron James in a maid outfit and everything else. So Usher don't want the smoke, so he just went ahead and deleted his history. But yeah, I don't put anything past anybody. Again, um, hopefully these two women who claim that Sage, the Gemini art them, they take this to the police. Because the only thing we can offer you as a social media community is our commentary possible thoughts and prayers. There's nothing we can do for y'all legally. So if you guys are serious about stopping crimes and things like that that are going on in the industry, you need to talk to the police. You need to go file charges. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.